Hello everyone, my name is Martin Bialas, I'm a member of Atavism team and today I will present you uh, Atavism uh, skills uh, plugin. So let's start. In order to open uh, Atavism skills uh, configuration tab, we should head into uh, Windows section and uh, we have to click into Atavism online. Option. So we can see that Atavism editor is open and uh, here we can navigate to skills uh, plugin through putting uh, uh, something in the in the filter here or we can just uh, head into combat uh, group section and we can find uh, skills here. So basically on Atavism uh, we got uh, two types of configuration for skills. Uh, first type is um, mm, because we we can attach to the skill we can attach abilities uh, and it's a basic configuration in Atavism um, and uh, first type of the skill is when first type of configuration of skill is when the player is using these attached abilities uh, then there is a chance that skill will be increased and uh, to which point we can define it here so we can define the max value for that and uh, the more chance is as at the beginning and the less chance is at the end of that uh, range so it's the range between 0 and 100 or something else which we will we can we can put here uh, it's basically uh, made by linear, so uh, then we get uh, second option, so we can uh, we can define uh, to not level the skill while using abilities connected to it, but instead, if the player will get the level, the the character of uh, of the player will get the level. Uh, of the character, then uh, it can be granted some uh, skill points, and uh, then that skill points can be spent uh, for any skill. And of course, uh, to prevent uh, player from putting all the skill points into the most powerful and the uh, the best uh, skill uh, in the tree, because we can define the tree uh, of the skill. Uh, then uh, we can define uh, requirements, so requirement for skills and here we can define parent skill. So uh, yeah, first the player will have to um, put uh, and met all the requirements in the skill tree. Uh, before he will put uh, points into the more more and more powerful skills uh, in that tree. Uh, in order to configure or set up these two types of configuration, we, we should head into uh, server group and in the server group we got game settings. We can of course same just put game settings here. Uh, and here in the edit tab we can find like skill. Uh, I covered uh, the uh, game settings uh, plugin in the se in separate tutorial, so uh, you can watch it as well. But for uh, for this uh, for this tutorial, I will just show few uh, configuration elements for that part. So we can set up that skill up rate, which I mentioned before. It's the first option when player is using abilities, and through that abilities, uh, it is increasing the uh, skill level so we got skill up rate uh, like one it's 100% to increase the skill and uh, the higher level of the skill the harder it will be to get that uh, skill point and of course we can set it to zero if we want to uh, not level the skill by using abilities connected to it but we can instead use skill point given per level. This is also global parameter. 
and uh, here we can define how many points the player will get uh, each time he will get the level. So in this case we got uh, uh, set this value uh, to 3, it's the it's default value. Uh, so each time the player will get the level he will get the 3 skill points which he, he will be able to spend uh, to any uh, skill in the skill tree but of course uh, with uh, Mm, uh, with uh, requirements uh, which we can define in the skill uh, definition. So let's head back to the uh, to the skills elements. So uh, we got max level as I mentioned. Then we got skill point cost because some skills, the most powerful, can cost more skill points. For example. Uh, automatically learn it will automatically learn the skill when the uh, requirements for that skill are met because skill can be related to any other skills as well uh, then we got of course icon name and here we have some more configuration like skill class we can define the skill or limit the skill to be used only for um, specific class so we got few classes here uh, so we can limit it only for this class so no other classes will be able to uh, to learn it then we got opposite class it's basically uh, mm, the opposite class means that the skill uh, uh, will be harder to level for that opposite class so we can uh, imagine that we have some uh, magic uh, magic skill and it's uh, designed for mage or sorceress while uh, for warrior it will be harder to, to get that skills so we can define it here and then we have four stats uh, definition here so we got primary stats, secondary stat, third stat and fourth stat so what does it mean? It basically uh, allows us to define any attribute for character, any statistic for character, and uh, while the skill will be increased, we can define how these attributes will be increased as well. So uh, we can, for example, say that uh, this will be magic skill, like magic stuff, magic stuff uh, skill and we can define that it will be for mage we can define opposite class like uh, warrior for example uh, then we can define this primary stat as like intelligence uh, potential which is in atavism default uh, uh, magic power attribute then we got uh, magical critic then we got for example magical resistance so it's basically all for uh, all attributes uh, very important attributes for mage and uh, these attributes will be increased each time or uh, we can define how often uh, it will be increased when uh, the skill will be increased as well so uh, we can define it uh, define it in uh, server again game settings plugin and here we have uh, we have a skill primary stat gain increment increment so yeah we get we got uh, for this uh, uh, these stats and here we can say we can define the value so first stat will be increased uh, each each time the skill level will be increased uh, by two point by two points. So, for each two points um, uh, of the skill, we will get one primary stat. Uh, one one primary stat point, and the same we can define for secondary, for third, and so on. So we can define it, and it's pretty uh, customizable. Let's get back to the uh, 
uh, to the skills so then we got requirements uh, we got here a uh, few elements as well so we can um, we can define player level requirement for that skill uh, we can define parent skill which will allow us to uh, basically build the skill tree for that uh, for that part uh, so we got one parent and three uh, requirements for example this magic staff skill or we can say it uh, magic staff expert skill will just require uh, require um, like magic staff at level 50 so uh, player won't be able to level that or put the skill points to that magic staff uh, expert skill until the requirements will be met and then we have abilities uh, which i uh, mentioned at the beginning so we can define multiple abilities here so we got uh, expert let's say magic vault it will require uh, like 25 skill skill level let's add more uh, let's say magic bolt like 40 and we can define here if the ability should be automatically learned or not so if that skill uh, magic staff expert skill will reach the skill level 25 should that ability sleeping bolt for example should be automatically learned or not so we can define it pretty uh, uh, pretty much all elements uh, i think we want uh, so we got two types uh, uh, two types of skill configuration in atavism and we can attach to uh, attach to skills we can attach abilities uh, we can attach multiple abilities and uh, in order to use that skill uh, for our player we should head into the character group section and choose player character setup and then at the bottom of the of the page we got few or i should say many attributes of uh, for configuration of, of uh, for our character and um, and we can switch to edit because uh, here will be more configuration we can save that uh, uh, save that uh, template and then head into the uh, edit tab and in the edit tab we have uh, we have more option because we have to save the template to in order to assign the uh, skills for example so we can say we want human uh, new template knight uh, let's say um, default instance main world yeah, let's save it and uh, in the edit tab we can add uh, starting skills and we can define skill another skill so we can define which skills will be uh, available for that uh, for that uh, template player character template like in this case we got human race we got knight class and factions human starting location and such also uh, player character setup uh, will be covered in uh, another tutorial so basically it's the place where you would like to uh, define that uh, configured previously skills for your character so that's all for now uh, thanks for watching uh, i hope you like it and uh, see you in the next tutorial Bye-bye.